the here and now, the right now, the 2019 mm-hmm. and obviously 20 of it right now, for it to be about similarly the physical nature and yeah. having people coming out of the backfield for both teams downhill, mm-hmm. business decision time for the defense, taking the opponent's will. This is what it was about for back then. That's what I love about this Titans-Ravens matchup Saturday. It's very similar, you'd have to yeah. say, in that regard. Right, Eddie? Yeah, it's for grown men only. That's <laughs> it. And right. for both teams, they're both physical. Uh, the Baltimore's offensive line is, is, is nasty. Um, the Titans' offensive line, they've matured into being a dominant force up front. And it's going to be a battle of wills. And whoever establishes the run um, will win the game. You know, I, I said this before. If Lamar Jackson is throwing 35 times, they'll lose. If Tannehill is throwing for 35 times, they're going to lose. It's about establishing Derrick Henry and the offensive line for the Titans. And it's about getting that running game continuing to go for Baltimore. And I don't know the, the health of Mark Ingram, but I think that he is really – and the, the two other running backs they have for Baltimore, they, they really get that going. If that running game is not going, and Lamar Jackson is now having to take on the brunt of the running game and throwing the football, I think that bodes fairly well for Tennessee. It's going to be difficult, but I think it it'll, it'll gives them a better chance of beating Baltimore and slowing that offense down and getting ahead of Baltimore in that regard. There's a different mentality with Baltimore what he said oh without a doubt without a doubt baltimore i used to call them body more because they, <sighs> they would bring body bags to the stadium for opposing offenses you know with their defense and that's that and that that culture has been established with ray lewis and that baltimore 2000 defense and it's been a mainstay in terms of this is how you play right in baltimore regardless of who's in that building or not. This is the way that they play, and they they pride themselves on that. How do you think Lamar's going to play, Eddie? What do you think? You know, I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to be exceptional. Um, the kid is, is just phenomenal. When you think that, okay, this will be the week where he kind of comes back to earth, he just does something that's so far out there, the supernatural, like this guy is in a world of his own. And I, I think, you know, with his, with having a week off, um, really two weeks off, um, fresh legs, the excitement of the playoffs. Um, I, I think he's going to go out and play lights out. And, and the Titans understand that, you know, he's going to make plays. So you have to take away something from Baltimore and, and hopefully you can uh, push him into uh, making some mistakes, you know, throwing into double coverage or fumbling the football. You know, those things start to play in your mind if you haven't played ball in about two weeks and the Titans are coming off of momentum, playing in New England. They are, they're battle-ready, uh, whereas Baltimore, they have to rev that up again. So I think earlier on, you know, they can try to rattle his cage a little bit and, and try to force him to mistakes. But I, I, but I anticipate on him having, you know, a huge impact on the game and just being the playmaker that he is. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.